You can make jewelry out of anything, even you garbage. You can make jewelry out of anything, even you garbage. You can make jewelry out of anything, even garbage. You can make jewelry out of trash. Let's see what we can find. Checking out my different friends' basements and garages here. of the world masters of destiny brother 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 why you got that gun preaching about the freedom then throw shackles on your mind preaching about the freedom then throw shackles on your mind All right, I got these on tin foil. Just gonna try sprinkling the little confetti of the other pieces I cut up. This is where you wanna use tweezers or even like a little toothpick to move these around, place them more so where you want them. These tweezers are not working. I think just put it on top and then get a little toothpick or a little piece of wire and just slide it around till it's where you want. At first I was trying to place them so that none of the black and the green touched, but it got so painstaking and annoying and all the little pieces kept moving where I didn't want them to. Finally, I just let them be all over the place on top of each other and I actually like this dynamic a lot better. So I'm gonna try putting it in a toaster oven. Ew, they're starting to curl up. I kinda like that, or do I? Yeah, I'm not sure I do. Okay, these came out horrendous, like little shriveled plastic pasta pieces. I was gonna abandon this whole part, but let's double down and see if we can make something even weirder out of this. I'm just gonna sprinkle, now that it really doesn't matter where you place anything because the stuff gets all shriveled up and moved around anyway. I'm gonna put the blue in this time and more of the green and black and, and we'll see what happens. I'm even gonna take this leftover piece here and cut off a little bit and throw it in there gonna add crazy stuff on top of itself. Okay, that was left in a little too long. It's starting to smoke. Ew. Gotta be careful of that. Whoa. Oh yeah. Molten goodness. They look like gross dying jellyfish. I'm gonna let them cool for a sec. 
All right, almost cool. Let me see if I can peel these off. Ooh, yeah, they pop right off. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, these are so cool. Let's add more. Five minutes at about 450 seems to be good, but check it carefully like every minute or so to make sure it's not smoking. I'm really liking this and I'm learning a lot doing this. I think I want to make a lot more now. And I love how the thin stringy ones like curl up like that. How's that song go? My girl likes spaghetti all the time, spaghetti all the time, spaghetti all the time. Look at these monsters, these are so cool. Ah I just want to leave them as they are, but because these little parts are brittle, I'm going to trim it a little bit into kind of a leaf shape. These ends are pretty sturdy though. I'm going to keep most of it. That's so cool. Just feel around, make sure there's no sharp edges. Just round them off a little if there are. Also, just functionally, these little tiny tips could snag a whole bunch of hair when they're flopping around on a person's ear. This little part here is perfect to hold the jump ring. They're really firm and strong, too. They're holding their shape. They don't feel flimsy at all. These nail clippers are helping me get in real tight to get the extra little pieces that might be sticking out a tiny bit. And round them off. A lot of you have old CDs floating around your house that you'll probably never use again. You can just cut them with scissors. Except if you cut them cold, they'll probably splinter all over the place. What you want to do is soak them in some hot water for five minutes. All right, let's see now. It's extra hot water. This time it was for like 10 minutes almost. Okay, that's cutting much better. I like that. Now, I don't know if it cools down and becomes hard to cut, so I'm gonna to try to cut this as quickly as possible. It doesn't seem to like curves as much. Prefers straight line cuts. So I'll do my best here. I could have made a template, but that's no fun. Just wing it, right? Winging it is fun probably want to be better than me and take a sharpie and mark out where you want to cut first and then get to it quickly as soon as you take it out of the water. I used hot sink water but maybe if you boiled the water you would get uh, more time and a more flexible cut. What the heck? So many fun things to use in this.
run around like a dog. And what are these? Sowing your seed, sowing your seed. Sowing your seed. But you know it'll never grow, never grow. What you gonna do when they tell you? These are some kind of basic wall anchors. 